As we have seen in a chronic liver disease, liver is damaged slowly over a period of time. And I have explained to you that uh, chronic liver disease can cause many symptoms. And these symptoms might be hepatic encephalopathy, where there is a problem with the sleepiness, irritability, sleeping problems. It can cause blood vomiting, which is called as hematemesis. It can cause ascites, which is water collection in the tummy. It can cause pedal edema, that is swelling of legs. And it can also cause jaundice, that is yellowish, yellowishness of skin. Now, whenever these symptoms happen, and it can also affect kidneys also, by the way. Now, whenever these symptoms happen and it affects other organs, then probably a patient needs a liver transplant. There is a common scoring system called as MELD scoring system, MEL scoring system. Calculators are available on the internet. Anybody with a chronic liver disease can calculate their MELD score. It requires only bilirubin levels, creatinine, and INR to be put in latest levels. And any patient with MELD score of 14 or more needs a liver transplant because above MELD score of 14 or more, the survival is limited. And we have shown that the transplant above 14 or more would lead to survival advantage. For the, the second group of patients is acute liver failure. So it's very difficult to decide when a patient needs a transplant with a acute liver failure. But one thing is sure, any patient who lands into acute liver failure should be immediately transferred to a center with the availability of liver transplantation. Because although we don't know at what stage patient would need liver transplant, or we also don't know whether this patient would need transplant or not. But once we decide that now the transplant should be done, at that point of time, it should be moved very quickly. We have only 24 hours to move for selection of donors, doing all the tests, and going ahead with the liver transplant. Also at this stage, if we decide, and patient is at any peripheral center and then decides to move to a center with the liver transplant, the transportation of patient becomes very, very risky. Because while transporting, patient can cone, patient can have brain edema, and patient can suddenly lose the life. So my simple message in acute liver failure is once we diagnose a patient with acute liver failure, patient should be immediately transferred to a trans transplant center with facilities for liver transplant and other acute liver failure facilities. Third group of patients are the patients who have cancers. Now, the basic question is when do a patient need a liver transplant? And more relevant for this category is when should we avoid transplant in a patient with a liver cancer? Now, in a patient with a liver cancer, like HCC, that is primary liver cancer, hepatocellular carcinoma, if the HCC is gone out of the liver and involving the blood vessels in the liver, then transplant is not the choice. Because if we transplant in such scenarios, the recurrence of transplant, recurrent of HCC, recurrence coming back of hepatocellular cancer is almost 100%. So it is not worthwhile doing transplant in those scenarios. Second group of cancers in which we need liver transplant is neuroendocrine tumors. But uh, in consultation with your transplant physician, these kind of cases are rare. But sometimes they yield good outcomes, like cholangiocarcinomas and neuroendocrine tumor. Patient has to be selected properly.